Howdy, hi, welcome. Come on in. Alrighty, I'm, I'm slightly frazzled because our food just showed up as well. The song name, by the way, all the songs I've got in my playlist are from Jay Schlatt and uh, it's Schlatt and Ludwig's Animal Crossing uh, inspired royalty free music. I think they both have videos on it, so you can find uh, links to them there. The first one in the playlist is called 10 AM. <laughs> uh, but yeah, howdy hi. I'm only gonna stream for a little bit until Allison gets here. Um, and then it's dinner time. But let's talk about Rooster Teeth a little bit, cause I knew cause that I, you guys probably wanted to talk. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so just in case you're unaware, Rooster Teeth finally died. Um, I'm not surprised. I am, it is a shame, if anything, because the, uh, it sucks that all those employees just got suddenly laid off. And now they're all like, oh. Okay, here's my animation reel, please hire me. <laughs> so, that really sucks. Sucks a whole lot for them. Uh, I hope the animators and everyone can, uh, get back on their feet relatively quickly. You know what's annoying is I bet, you know, Millionaire Gavin Free, Millionaire Gus Sorolla, I bet they were told ahead of time. Uh, but heaven forbid, you know, the people who actually needed to know get to know things early. But I don't know, I can't guarantee. Gavin may also not even give a single fuck. <laughs> he's, a, he's a millionaire. Who cares? Um... So yeah! Rooster Teeth's dead. Ruby's dead. It's all dead. Technically, Warner Brothers is technically looking to... Most of the higher-ups def- probably- Yeah, they almost definitely knew. Uh, and they should have sold their employees. Uh, but why- why be responsible? Even at the end. <laughs> um, um... Yeah, word on the street is that WB is looking to sell the IPs for things like... Well, let's be honest, Ruby's the big one. Camp Camp might also be involved. Who fucking cares? <laughs> uh, it's Ruby. Ruby as an IP can get sold to somewhere else. And it's uh, it's kind of sad. Looking at the subreddit. I went to the Ruby subreddit for the first time ever to see how they were handling all this. Uh, it's been eons and eons. And um, they're handling it poorly. <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> Gavin also has a career outside of RT, doesn't he? Yeah, I mean, he's got slow-mo guys. Uh, and he can, like, he has filmed slow-mo stuff for things before. I think he worked on one of the Harry Potters. He's worked on one of the Sherlocks. So, yeah. Millionaire Gavin Free will be fine. Someone said that Amazon is eyeing Ruby. Wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, you know, Amazon would love to own everything. The sad part is because the IP could get purchased by someone else, the subreddit is like, oh, that means it might still keep going. That means Ru Ruby can just keep going with someone else. And it's like, it's not going to. It's n not gonna happen. <laughs> that, that IP is a complete money sink. No one, even if someone purchases it, at best we could hope for like, more merch. Oh, you know, we've got Ruby on cups, you know, stuff like that. Uh, they definitely won't be wasting any money making the show anymore. And if they do, they would not get the original writers or directors. There's not even a guarantee they'd stick to the animation. It might somehow be even worse looking animation. <laughs> Buying Ruby's like a negative transaction. Exactly. You waste money. You spend money to get something that is, is of no value. <laughs> it's like spending money on mud. <laughs> Gotta be honest, I've always been on the fence about creating Ruby fan art and fix because I didn't want to support RT. I mean, fan art and fan fictions don't directly support Rooster Teeth. Like, definitely, like... I stopped making Ruby content for a lot of reasons, uh, and one of them was I did not want to support Rooster Teeth anymore, and that's the difference, is that it's like, me directly talking about the actual show is, in a way, even with a negative video, um, uh, just an, an advertisement for them. 
Versus, hang on, I gotta make sure the cats aren't eating the food. <laughs> Versus just being like, here's my fan team. Um, then, you know, that doesn't, it's a bit different. But yeah, hang on, I'll be right back. <laughs> The cats were not eating the food. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, buying Ruby would be better than buying Genlock. That's t true. <laughs> Genlock's dead, though. <laughs> if I could purchase Ruby and make a silent show with no voice actors. But that's the thing. Even with no voice actors, you have to write it. You'd have to get a writer. You'd have to get an animator. You know, you don't just buy a show and get the creation of it. <laughs> Unfortunate, and that's the thing, no one wants to spend money on all that for a show that was dying. I looked at Google Trends. I looked at what the Google Trends were for Rooster Teeth, Ruby, and Red vs. Blue. And leading up to today, they were poor. <laughs> Ruby was getting the most traction on Google Trends, ranking in about 20 searches a day. Oof. <laughs> I've gotten away from channels that put out anti-Ruby videos lately. I just don't interact with Ruby at all. In any way. The closest I get is Critter. Critter keeps talking about Ruby. Uh, and that's, like, that's as close as I get. <laughs> if someone were to buy it and actually try to make money off it, I think they would have to just do a complete reboot. That's the thing. Nine years in, the... Plot just started. <laughs> it wasn't even nine. Ten years in, because it took a whole year. Welcome. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> I appreciate you. Um, but yeah, ten years in, and the plot just started. Like, volume... And then volume eight was when it finally really began. Like, in earnest. Like, it wasn't just... Oh, Team Ruby are kind of going forward, and sometimes a bad guy gets in their way. Like, there was, like, a goal. Like, they confronted the bad person, the big Salem, and then Volume 9 wasted everyone's time, and now the show's dead. We will never see- we- Juniper will never see them again. Oscar, never see him again. Volume 9 was a complete waste of time. It is dead. They never even got to 10 volumes. Just feels so bad for Ruby. It cannot end having nothing to do with the main plot. That, it really... Like, as someone... I don't even care about the show anymore. But thinking about that being the way it ends... Oh, fuck. Like, not even just... A, a poor volume. <laughs> like, if volume 8 was the last one. Which I was so bad that it was one of the things that made me stop wanting to interact with Ruby. But if Volume 8 was the last one, then it's like, at least it goes out on some level of respect. <laughs> you know, there was intrigue, things were set up, fans could theoretically roll with the, uh, you know, roll with the story and make their own. But Volume 9, it's like they actively took the wheel away from everything. Fucked up a bunch of shit for no good reason. And then- And then presented the idea of- Of a cliffhanger? Like, how much time had passed while they were in Neverland or whatever the fuck it was called. I don't know. I do not know. <laughs> and no one will know. Not unless Miles and Carrie themselves go on a podcast and be like, this was all of our plans, but let's be honest, that wouldn't happen because that would include having plans. <laughs> they played every fucking volume by the seat of their pants and it paid, what's the opposite of dividends? Negatives. <laughs> Something I noticed while making my own Ruby AU is that fans tend to use Team Ruby as the protagonists. Still use them as protagonists. Maybe it's just me, but don't most AUs use different characters or OCs? It can depend. 
I think a, uh, it could be a fun uh, thing to approach something being like, what if the protagonist just had different things to deal with? Like, uh, what if in Madoka Magica, what if Madoka never became a magical girl at all? You can explore that idea. A lot of Madoka Magica spin-off stories are basically AUs like that. Uh, you don't always have to make a unique character or like your own character or choose a different team like an AU, but instead we follow Coffee. You know, that's fine too, but uh, I can understand how a lot of people want to approach AUs as what if the characters I know and like are just handling something slightly differently. <laughs> so yeah. It's almost like blocking most of its viewers from seeing the last volume didn't help. I know, right? It's also almost like, I don't know, making- Does Rooster Teeth getting shut down give any feeling of vindication for you? I don't know if vindication is the right word. I will say, my plan when Ruby died was to make a tweet, basically retweeting the announcement, saying, like, today's a good day. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't just Ruby died, the whole dang, uh, lo location died. And so it's not a good day, because a bunch of people lost their jobs. <laughs> so, damn, my really funny joke. <laughs> uh, uh, but I will say, wh what a surprise. Hashtag Greenlight Ruby Volume 10 did jack shit. Wow, a hashtag doesn't fix a company that's bleeding money. Uh, like, I respect the fans for, like, trying but let's be honest that was never gonna do anything it was ruby was incredibly popular it was making no money <laughs> if anything ha screaming hashtag greenlight volume 10 hashtag greenlight volume 10 all that did was show all the animators and, and writers that cool we have all these fans who really want the story to continue that we do not have the funds to work on but oh well, I guess. People use Team Ruby as the AU protags because they aren't protags in the real show. <laughs> yeah, that Justice League movie, and I think it was Fat Man who made the gag about it. Um, about that being the last canon piece, because they are canon for some dumb fuck reason. Canon piece of Ruby media on screen. And it's like... Shit, I didn't want this for anybody. No one seemed to like those movies. <laughs> so yeah, I do- I agree, Mira. I also- I- the workers all getting laid off, like, that sucks ass. But, look, kind of trying to make a silver lining out of this. Good, this means they don't have to work at Rooster Teeth anymore. Oh good, they can- they can go somewhere where they're treated properly. Yeah, it's canon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, hemorrhaging money is also slightly bad. Bleeding implies a band-aid would have fixed it. They needed an IV drip. <laughs> so yeah, um, shit, dude. <laughs> shit sucks, bro. Sucks for the animators. Um, uh, I, I couldn't give a, a shit about anything else with Rooster Teeth, but uh, unfortunately it's a bunch of animators that really get the brunt of it. So, do you think the IP will get sold off and continue? So, I think there's a chance it will get purchased, which will just lead to, like, kind of more collab things, like, here's Team Ruby on cups, or, uh, uh we got Team Ruby in the next Blaze Blue game, or something like that. I do not think the show will continue if it gets purchased, because that's too much money to spend on a show that was hemorrhaging money. So, don't- I don't- Personally, I don't expect the story to continue in any way. If it does, I might actually check it out again. <laughs> but no. Um, and that, because that, there, that also, that's the other thing. If someone had endless money to spend on Ruby, there's, it's a lose lose. Do you pick up from volume eight? <laughs> Everything was really bad. <laughs> so do you pick up, or volume nine rather? Everything was really bad. The plot was nonsensical. Half the characters were unlikable, and nothing was going well in terms of like production. Uh, so do you pick up there ten years in, uh, in a st trying to fix a story that is again bad, or do you completely reboot it? 
10 years into the show's lifetime, you just start over after the show finally actually got a plot happening. You just start over. Let's bring it back to the beginning. As if the fans themselves haven't been complaining about how we're all so tired of Volume 1. We're all so sick of Volume 1. You know, they've been saying it for forever now. <laughs> and so it's a lose-lose. Even if you buy it and you have un endless money to spend on Ruby, there's, there's no way to succeed. <sighs> Most you can see is a small comic? Yeah. Maybe they'd keep the comics going. What if- what if the creator of Nomad and Nowhere bought the rights to a show back? That would be kind of sad that he would have to, but if that means he gets his stuff back, then you know what? Here's hoping. Part of me is just huffing copium that it could be better outside of RT. I think, uh, Messinac, <clears throat> you might be happier t checking out Dylan Goo. Uh, Dylan used to work on Ruby. He's he's friends with Shane. Shane helps him with animation. Um, and he's making his own anime stuff, uh, online. Uh, and it's good. And so while it's not Ruby, uh, it'll be good. So, there you go. I suggest you check that out. Wondering what will happen to the fandom. I don't expect it to die down that fast, but eventually you'll have to. I feel like currently, the Ruby fandom is just fanatics. And that's not, like, derogatory. Like, I mean, like, it's the utmost, most dedicated people still talking about Ruby. Um, it's, they have completely lost the casual audience in every single way. So, while they won't die down or necessarily quiet down anytime soon, they aren't large anyway. That's the problem. <laughs> it's, it's a small sect of people still, still chatting about Ruby. Huh? Huh? Though this does have hear me out, what if beacon but again. <laughs> yeah, Dylan's stuff is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a bad feeling the more toxic fans are gonna grab onto any crumb. I don't know, man. I mean probably. There will be it'll be kind of like It'll be like what's it called? Duke Nukem. Oh, Duke, Duke Nukem! Duke Nukem! It's gonna come out! Duke Nukem forever! It's gonna happen! You know? It's gonna be kind of- I think- I think Ruby's gonna end up like that. <laughs> Hello! The food- the milkshakes are in the fridge, and the food is in the microwave, in an attempt to keep it warm. <laughs> um... Yeah, Allison's here, which means it's dinner time. Uh, so yeah, a very short little stream. I feel like there's nothing else to really say. It sucks that the animators have- we did give milkshakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really just fanatics. I remember someone asking me, a guy who was following Ruby since day one, have you ever actually met a Ruby fan? And I went, oh, yeah, no, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> they, they're, they're a lot. Ruby fan base is fascinating because I feel like they're living in a constant delusion where they imagine a show that's actually good. That was a, a problem I encountered as someone critiquing the show. A lot of the angry comments were hard to even argue with. It kind of, it felt like talking with extreme conservatives in that they both do this thing where they just pretend they're right, you know? Uh, and that's actually something I'm seeing a lot across the internet these days. <laughs> um, so yeah, you know, the fans, the fans, now is the time to make your AU. To make your fan fiction. Uh, I guess I'd be fascinated to see what Celtic Phoenix does uh, with fixing Ruby. Because <laughs> uh, that's really all it has anymore. Um... Yeah, sucks for the animators. I will say this might be a good a good time to bring up this idea. I had an idea a while ago, and I was kind of saving it for like some kind of event. Um, but to do a uh, and probably it would have to be multiple um, endurance streams, so really really long streams, where I rewatch all of my old Ruby reviews. I, I was planning on like saving that for like some kind of like. You know, yeah, like I said, like an event or, or something. Um, Ruby dying might be the best time to do that. <laughs> so I don't know. Uh, let me know how that sounds to you all. Do you all want to... 
hang out with me for like a full day <laughs> watching my crappy old videos together. That sounds like a great time. I see, that's what I thought. And also I'll finally be like a real, real streamer. Just watching content. Thank you. Oh, it's Raiden. <laughs> so, uh, I'm here for it. Twins Ruby review tier list. <laughs> There's a lot of videos and a lot of them get pretty long. It would have to be multiple days if I wanted to include discussions because my discussions regularly were much longer. Subathon? We could make it a subathon. The only plan would be to just have it be a stream or a, a, an endurance stream. So like really, really long. Um, cause I would all, I would be pausing and, you know, talking and being like, I'm wrong here or like, oh, you know, you, fun fact about this. It'd be kind of be like a behind the, like a com director's commentary. <laughs> Empty chair reacts to twins' old videos. <laughs> still really like your Ironwood video? Yeah, I still get comments on it and I'll be honest, I don't care. <laughs> People will be like, come in with a lot of vitriol. <laughs> and like opinions there was one that was like that came in so hot on one of my videos and I was like my brother in Christ I don't even watch this cartoon anymore this video is two years old <laughs> and I think that's the thing people don't grasp that it's like time passed I've moved on I don't it's just it, it's they yeah yeah they can't read dates <laughs> Surely this Ironwood video is is current and relevant. <laughs> Definitely not old ass news. <laughs> cool. So yeah, we'll figure out when I'll do that. That'll probably be on a different day than I usually stream. Maybe Monday. Maybe Sunday. I don't know. <laughs> you can't move on. This is the Internet Twins. I can by deleting all those videos, but I still make money off of them, so I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't need that money, but it's like, I can make that money. <laughs> okay, it's dinner time. Uh, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I disagree with your opinion from a half a decade ago, if you must know. That's the thing. I disagree with a lot of my opinions from half a decade ago. <laughs> Probably made more money off Ruby than RT did. I don't know about that. I, I was legally destitute when I was a YouTuber, so... <laughs> huh? So yeah, uh, that's kind of the long and short of it. Um... That's it. <laughs> People change, I know. <laughs> We're not just just the same thing for forever. Unfathomable. Oh, thank you, Mezenac. <laughs> Endurance stream type. Enjoy dinner. Aw, oh, what a sweetie. <laughs> I will enjoy dinner. We got Wendy's. <laughs> so, cool. We'll get that Endurance stream planned out. That sounds neato. It's been so long since I've even like perceived Ruby. So, it'll be a real blast from the past. Um yeah, adios, see you on the flip side, drink your water, eat your vegetables, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs>